Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you all of the Google Slides updates that were announced this past summer and what that means for slides this upcoming school year. One of the updates that Google just recently announced in August is that you will now be able to easily customize the theme colors in sheets and in slides. So what this means is to select theme colors, you can go to any color picker dropdown, click on the edit button for your theme color palette, and in the theme color sidebar, you can select a color from the dropdown to begin editing. And what this will do is it will make it easier to customize your slides and it will help you uh, incorporate your school's colors or um, you know any kind of theme that you're looking for in your classroom or as a team or as a department or you know whatever your needs might be this just tries to make it a little bit easier as i mentioned in the google docs video um, now when you create links to shared Microsoft Office files that you have stored in your drive, uh, they'll automatically be opened and converted in your Google products. So if you have a PowerPoint presentation that you've stored in your Google Drive and you share it with somebody, it will actually convert and open that in Google Slides. Last year, Google announced the Smart Compose in Google Docs, and that feature is now actually being used in uh, slides as well as sheets. And the whole idea is that Smart Compose can save you time uh, by cutting back on like the repetitive writing, reducing the chance of spelling and grammatical errors, and can suggest relevant contextual phrases. This past summer, Google Slides also introduced image placeholders uh, in order to make it easy to work as a team. So now um, you'll have the ability to create a placeholder. Uh, when you go to insert at the bottom, you can do placeholder. And uh, you can do either a title placeholder, a subtitle placeholder, body text placeholder, or an image placeholder. So if you select image placeholder and uh, say you select oval, and what you'll be able to do is um, you'll be able to go back into where that placeholder is and insert a picture directly into that shape. So you can, uh, you know, it allows you to plan ahead and then easily insert the images uh, when you're ready for them. And if you're like me and spend way too much time trying to format your slides to just make them look perfect, this is something that will save you a lot of time going forward uh, because you won't have to go back and then like remove the image that you put as a placeholder. Uh, you'll simply just be able to go insert directly into the thing that you've already created. So it just kind of reduces having to do stuff uh, more than one time. So while there were only a few updates to Google Slides this summer, I feel like all of the updates were made uh, with teachers in mind to help them save time and create visually impressive presentations. I'm curious to know what some of your favorite updates are. Please let me know in the comments below. But also, I'd also love to know what feature do we not have in Slides that you as an educator would love to see. So please let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if you know of any teachers that might benefit from watching this video, please feel free to share it with them. And make sure to check out the description below where I have links to several other tutorial videos uh, that include updates for other G Suite products, as well as tutorials and walkthroughs of other softwares and uh, programs. And if you haven't already, please take a second, click on the subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.